And they have circled around. This is really bad. Really, really bad. Hello reformers and welcome back to the last days and our elf playthrough. Now when we left off we were just about to eliminate a scout camp and that's exactly what we're going to do. But obviously at the moment we have a battle on our hands and the battle is not going to be extremely difficult. I mean it never really is with elves is it with the exception of constant raider attacks of course. Anyway what we're going to try and do here is I'm actually going to try and see whether I can have more kills of mountain goblins actually register in the quest log. Because at the moment I have four mountain goblin kills, which makes me a little bit uh, a little bit confused. Because I would have expected, you know, maybe for me to have 12 of those. But I have, I have experienced in the past where that actually doesn't matter. And the actual kill count is negligible it doesn't really make any any difference whether you've completed it or not but hopefully what i'll be able to do is get a couple of mountain goblin kills here as you can see i'm actually getting a couple and maybe that's going to make a difference in the quest that i gained from lorian so hopefully that's going to be good otherwise if it's if it doesn't make any difference then it doesn't make any difference and at least i've done the testing i actually did get eight kills there i think six of those were mountain goblins so i suppose that's not all bad and uh, let's just take a quick look at the loot here i actually have a completely full inventory i'm gonna need to fix that when we get back to lothlorian's towns and everything so this is where we currently are and we're going to be going into the scout camp in just a second i just want to make sure that this is no it still says four mountain goblins don't exactly know what's going on with that but oh well never mind i i suppose it's just going to stay in our stay in our quest log for the entire time now but anyway let's attack the scout camp and see what we can do here i would assume this is going to be kind of easy because we have archers and the enemy is bound to have archers oh hello oh wow that is that is that is actually kind of close. I'm not a big fan of that. Thank you very much. So, yeah. Uh, could you just... Oh, no. Yes, okay. Well, let's uh, let's see what I can do here. Hello. Okay, yeah, yeah. You switch switch to that and... Oh, he, he's so small. That's the problem here. That is the problem. There we go. Bulk Clan Rider. Oh, okay. Everyone's going into melee here. Uh, that's that's not particularly good, but thankfully the enemy is deciding to... Oh, yes, good good work running in front of me, person. And then me getting shot as a result. That's great. There we go. At least we eliminated one of them. And what? what? That was it? Okay. Well, with our Uruk, uh, these scout camps were much, much harder. But there you go. The scout camp has been raised, thankfully. All right, so that's great. That's very nice. Let's get some more veteran scouts here. Let's get some more bowmen. And we are going to get another one there. All right, so we do have a huge amount of different tasks that we are going to be doing here. And hopefully I'll be able to do those pretty quickly. Uh, there's a very large war party over there. That's uh, <laughs> oh, that's definitely something that we don't want to run into right away, is it? No, certainly not. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, you're fast. You're actually fast. You're actually very fast indeed. Okay. Yeah. They are moving at 4.8 with that many units? How? How do they do that? I have no idea, but I guess I'm going to be going over to Bjorn's house then, because apparently that's uh, that's where I'm being chased to. Yes. I need to actually do that for escorting the messenger. I do have to capture an enemy commander as well, so I was actually hoping that they might be a vassal, but obviously that is not to be. Wow, these guys really, really want to really wanna taste some elf flesh. Wow, that's, uh, that's kind of interesting. There's some rune raiders. They technically could have intercepted me right there, but they decided not to by the looks of things. Ah, your party witnessed orcs eating prisoners. Your party's morale has risen from hatred. That's actually really cool. Okay. I was actually not anticipating that. I thought it would go down, but no. Okay, so what do we need here? Five enemy prisoners. Don't I have five enemy prisoners? I have four. Oh, no. 
Ah, uh, of course it would be. What about a special item? Oh, I don't have any any space. Of course, I don't have any space still. Okay, so hopefully Bjorn's house I'll be able to sell something here. 52 rank points for escorting the messenger. That's nice. Oh, that is very nice indeed. Okay, great. Good to see that. Okay, so let's go in here. Just going to sell a bunch of the metal scraps. And yeah, I don't think I need to really sell anything else. I would like to speak to the elder here and uh, escort a supply train. Okay, I, I guess I can try. Oh, it's to Th Thranduil's Halls as well. Oh, okay, I guess I guess I can do that pretty easily. There's Thranduil's Halls over there. And uh, I guess we'll just speak to the caravan as well. There we go. All right, so let me... Let me uh, travel through here. We've just got to be a bit careful because you never know what is lurking around in the forest. There's a couple of deserters over there. Would be kind of nice for us to do a little bit of a battle just so... Whoa, those guys were all defeated? Why were they all defeated? Oh yeah, I think they were actually attempting to besiege Troll Cave. Yeah, they were actually trying to besiege Troll Cave. Not the best idea, I would say. Not the best idea, considering they probably are significantly outnumbered over there, but, well, I guess if they want to do that, then that's their own choice. I mean, I can't really be everywhere at once, can I? Anyway, let's speak to this. 20 rank points. We are now known to Bjornings, so, so that might actually open up the companion who is at Bjorn's house, which would be pretty cool, because I think he actually has some pretty awesome gear and abilities and, and things like that, uh, or at least I, I think so. Anyway, let's go in here and sell a couple more of our scraps. And I am actually going to be putting my companions on mounts as well. All right, so now that my business at Thranduil's Halls is over, we are now going to escort another supply train over to Erebor. Uh, and it seems like Westfold has been besieged and, ah, Wood Elf West Camp has been besieged by Gundabad once again. It seems like after this supply train, we will do our best to get over there as quickly as possible. Uh, yeah, I really should recruit some more units. I feel like I have the space, so why not? You know, we should really do that. And uh, hopefully we will get this supply train to get over here reasonably quickly. And then I will be able to rush over as fast as I can. So there we go. There's another 16 rank points. That's uh, decent enough. I mean, I'm not... Uh, it's not breaking the bank in terms of rank points, is it? But uh, it's all... It's all helping in some way, so I suppose that's pretty good. What? Bjorning Village was actually under siege as well? Seems like the north gets absolutely ravaged by all of these enemies. Constantly, by the looks of things. Okay. King Theoden was defeated as well. That's not particularly good. I've got to remember that I'm actually on his side this time around because, well, with our Uruk series, I was very much on his case, basically all the time, so yeah. Anyway, let's just get a whole bunch of those scouts. I don't really mind about taking the veterans or not. And uh, I just need to get some prisoners now as well. So there's the Wood Elf West Camp. Let's head over there. I do have 53 units. So I should be able to tackle at least a small band. Oh, hello. It, oh my. Wow, okay. Uh, so it apparently does not matter whether I appear here or not. But I'm actually going to participate if I can actually get there in time. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And uh, yeah, there's 23 of them. Yeah. I'm actually just going to participate just because I literally just want to see if I can get maybe some loot. Maybe some prisoners. Maybe something like that would be kind of nice. And oh, there's the enemy. Oh, look at that. It's a bear. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so apparently that bear is, is certainly going to help us out. Or at least I hope... Yeah, there we go. That bear is going to go in there and, well, I don't think orc tastes very good, personally, so probably not very good for the bear to eat orc, but, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe with, with, with a little bit of seasoning or something, you know, maybe, yeah, might make sense. Okay, what is this? It's just a bear. It's just a bear. It, that's, all it, that's all it's designated as. That's pretty amazing. And I think we're done here. But uh, that was that was worth it. Literally just going into this battle just to see the bear is certainly worth it. And I think actually that's the reason why we want to get that companion at Bjorn's house. Because apparently he has a bear that he comes with. So that's pretty amazing in my opinion. Uh, maybe I can... Oh, no, never mind. I should really zoom out. 
when I'm attempting to kill horse archers or at the very least skirmishers because it seems like that gives me a lot better tracking when they're moving so fast. Anyway, there you go. Nice. Okay, so we didn't get anything for this, but... Oh, we actually... Wow, that's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm actually going to take a prisoner. That is really, really cool. I kind of neglected and uh, indeed didn't really remember that that was a thing where we could actually capture an enemy commander. So Lord Elrond's going to be really happy with us right now. Is he actually here? I somehow doubt he's here. But it would be kind of nice to speak to Miriel, perhaps. Maybe we can get a task from her if we don't... Yeah, we already have one from her, don't we? All right. Which is what? What do I have to... Ah, oh, rescue four prisoners. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I should just continue looking for that. And Esgaroth. Esgaroth? Where's that? That's close by. There it is. It's over there. It's a Dale town. Okay, I guess we're going to go over there then. And uh, see what's going on. Gundabad is not doing too well. They are now average. Oh. Yes. Lothlorien is not doing too well because they are now average. Uh, I guess it's okay considering we're helping them quite a lot, I guess. I mean, we're not really completing their tasks as much as we necessarily could be. But I'm kind of defending some of these areas here. Oh, that's a war party. I would like to defeat this war party, actually, and uh, I'm very sad that more of these scouts did not level up. Okay, so let's see. What do we have? Heavy noble cavalrymen. Okay. This might be kind of difficult for me. Wow, that's actually a huge... Okay, that's a huge party. That is a huge party right there. Okay, I'm actually going to take take on this war party. If I can. Why, uh, oh, the caravan's going in. The caravan's going in. Let's do this. Let's help out the caravan. 93 against 56. Uh, I think we should be okay. I mean, if the Dale swordsman and the caravan and everything, if they decide to kind of give us a little bit of a buffer, then I think we might actually be in a pretty good position here. Obviously, my elves kind of need a little bit of space to do what they need to do. And, <laughs> whoa, speaking about that, these guys are kind of intimidating. Uh, I was hoping for a headshot right there. No, no, no! Don't get, don't get killed now. Okay, this is this is bad. It's kind of bad. Being an archer is very dangerous. Yes, but also shooting these guys in the back is very, very satisfying indeed. Okay, so let's see. Anyone else? Yep, there's one. I hit his shield, unfortunately. Ow. Well, at least they don't have wargs. That's literally the only thing that I'm really happy about right now. They don't have wargs. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, look, there's loads of them. Shoot them. Shoot all of the bare, naked, chested men. Yes. I'm sure Bear Uruk would be very, very pleased to see a bunch of man flesh here. But unfortunately, <laughs> that's not the case right now. And considering Rune is actually not even uh, not even a good faction, it's... Uh, well, I mean, I, I'm talking about on the side of good here. I'm not talking about whether they are morally good or in generally skill good, you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I think we're actually doing reasonably well. Amusingly enough, seems like Luvana is not doing too well being on her horse. Maybe it would have been a better idea to keep her off her mount or maybe change her tag so that she's now a cavalry instead of an archer, but obviously I didn't really want to send her in. I think that probably would have been kind of dangerous, considering she doesn't have the best horse archery skill. She literally has zero, I think. But there you go. That's a war party. We actually do need to kill four war parties, so us having that completed is pretty good. And uh, there you go. There's a little bit of rank points. Not too bad. And we are able to rescue prisoners as well, which is fantastic. All right. So let's just level up these veteran scouts here. A couple of extra bowmen, archers. Okay. I'm going to need to release a couple of people here because I need to rescue, I think it is five or six prisoners. So I'm going to rescue the Dale Archer and the... Uh, I have no idea which is better. I guess this one. I guess it doesn't it doesn't really matter. And there we go. All right. So that's hopefully going to give me the task complete. Is it? I rescue four prisoners. Rescued so far 3. Are you serious? I just rescued 5. Ah. Oh. 
Uh, okay, well, I, I guess... Uh, I guess that happens. Oh, well, never mind. I actually rescued five because I was worried that it would give me less. And uh, lo and behold, yeah, it did. It did. Okay. Well, let's sell a couple of our things here. Just a little bit. Not too much. Let's buy some... Uh... Oh, we can sell the rotten beef, please. Yes, that is not particularly good. Let's sell... Uh, I'm going to sell the beef back, actually, because I don't really want to have rotting beef in my inventory, thank you. Alright, so let's see what's actually going to happen at Esgaroth here. I really am kind of annoyed now that this gave me three rescued prisoners instead of actually five, but I guess that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, let's see, okay, so we've killed one out of four rune war parties. I still need to deliver this message, but it's going to take 26 days. That's absolutely fine. And bringing him five enemy prisoners, that takes 88 days. That's perfectly fine. We already have an enemy commander available. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait here. I'm going to wait at Dale. And we're going to see what happens at Esgaroth. Because maybe... Oh, there... Oh. oh. Oh, okay. Apparently they decided to go in and then they left. That was kind of strange. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, so... Are they no longer besieging it? They are no longer besieging it. Okay, so that's great. That's great for us. They're very good. And uh, I guess I can just go into Dale. Actually, you know what? Let's speak to this guy. I wanted to actually speak to him initially. So let's see. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, sure. Scout enemy town. I'm perfectly fine to do that. As long as I don't have to leave people there, I'm pretty good with it. So that's Gundabad Northeast Outpost, which is actually just there. And apparently, Iron Hill's quarry was eliminated. I have no idea when that happened. I must have been doing other things with the elves, but apparently that happened quite a long time ago by the looks of things. All right, so let's go and scout this. Maybe we'll be able to rescue a couple of extra prisoners as well, if at all possible. There we go, that's scouted. Easy. And hopefully he's going to be in the area as well. Uh, I, I don't exactly know where he's gone. Oh, hello. Who's that? That's a rune war party? Another one? That's crazy. Okay, I guess we're going to go and help out. We have 85 troops fit for battle against the enemy's 72. I don't know how we're going to do here because it's a very flat battlefield. But thankfully, again, we do have the caravan to hopefully help us out and buffer the enemy a little bit just a little bit uh, it seems like they're charging in quite a lot okay i'm going to tell my archers to stand closer twice just so that we can get a little bit of a barrier here just to make sure that uh, they maybe don't have an easy time of getting into the lines whoa that was whoa that was harsh okay so are you gonna try and are you gonna yep yep you're gonna try it yep i knew it Yes, take that. That was a shot in your elbow. It was your weak spot, apparently. Took a lot of damage from the elbow attack. And uh, I guess I could just tell my cavalry to just charge straight on in there. Let's tell our infantry to charge as well. Try and keep the enemy away from our main archers. Ooh, just took 41 damage. I took 41 damage. You know why? There are a bunch of horse archers behind us. And they have circled around. This is really bad. Really, really bad. Nice, nice headshots. Nice headshots. Come on, let's do another one. There we go. Take out that guy. And another one. And... Okay, okay. Getting close to death. Getting close to... Getting death. Yes, very much. Ah. Uh, okay, well that's not great. Ah, oh, your chest... Uh, yes, the chest has suffered some cracked ribs. Great. We've suffered a serious wound. Minus 20 weapon skill. Well, that's not very good, is it? And now the enemy... Ah. Uh, now the enemy horse archers have been eliminated. But I guess I did a pretty decent job at the very least, kind of. Uh, yeah, I mean, we really did do quite well in, you know, moving, shooting, moving, shooting. Because usually I'm not very good at that, so that was kind of nice. Otherwise, we do have someone that is routing over here. We don't have to worry about him any further. And I think we are good. I'm actually kind of surprised that our archers are firing just so slowly... 
but I guess that might be because they haven't really had the opportunity to basically just fight by themselves. You know, we're basically fighting to protect a caravan here, and maybe that's the reason. Anyway, I'm going to tell them to uh, actually. I'm going to tell them to spread out once again because it seems like they might be a little bit too close. That might have also been a bit of an issue there. So I'm going to make sure that that does not happen in the future. And it seems like there's someone all the way in the distance. I don't exactly know where he's going. It seems like he's routing. Well, with that fellow routed and indeed nine of our units routed as well, I'm actually really surprised to see that. But yeah, apparently they uh, they had some big problems fighting against this war party for some reason. I don't exactly know why that would be, but anyway, 12 rank points and 8 influence, not too bad. And we are able to capture a couple more enemies here. I really need to go and find Lord Elrond because getting rid of this guy is kind of a big deal considering he could potentially escape. So it might make sense for us to do that in just a second. We'll take another one of those horses. And uh, yeah, I think we're going to do that right away. So let's see. Where is... Elrond, there he is. Uh, uh, the last time we saw him, he was close to Rivendell camp. Well, of course he is. He's usually always around there. So it's just such a, such a far distance. I don't exactly know whether we're going to make it there before the uh, the fellow in our prisoner's hold manages to escape. But uh, I don't exactly know whether there's a great chance of that happening. Anyway, there's 30 strength for us. 10 in power draw, finally. And uh, yeah, now, of course, considering I suffered a serious wound, my archery skill has gone down a lot. Well, it seems like we have a pretty large battle on our hands here. I don't exactly know whether we're going to be able to help out because their numbers, the enemy's numbers, are so, so great that uh, we might not be able to turn the tide against them. Now, Lord Elrond is nowhere to be seen, but these are two of his vassals. So I'm hoping that I will be able to help them out here and gain a pretty decent reward in the process. Obviously, uh, we're, we're doing it for the greater good. We're not doing it for a reward or anything like that. No, not at all. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's try and get into position. And these guys are from Moria, so we might have some difficulties with their swarming. But other than that, I think we should be doing pretty well. I mean, I, they don't seem to have any real specialization or anything like that. So I should be okay. I mean, Gundabad does technically have those pretty awesome, you know, thrown weapon riding walk guys. And I don't really know what Moria has that is exceptionally unique. So yeah, apart from just huge numbers. So maybe that's the, that's the deal with them. Take out that Wolf Rider, thank you very much. I think we should be okay. I think it's really just a case of staying at range, obviously, and trying to deal as much damage as possible in the time... At, yes, I just literally shot a friendly troop. Literally. Wow. That is bad. Very bad, indeed. Take out the warg i guess and then just shoot the rider there we go that's what uh, a couple of you actually said in the comments to do and uh, that is a good tactic i'm just uh, <laughs> pretty bad at hitting the warg itself okay let's see if i can maybe take that out as well yeah there we go all right so there is someone over there being assaulted let's kill that guy i have 39 arrows remaining that's pretty good i mean i think that's okay the enemies have already lost 55 now let me tell you these guys, these vassals right here, they were going to lose. They were going to lose against Master Bolg. So I'm actually kind of surprised. Oh, cave trolls. I was actually kind of surprised about this. Okay, we killed another one. Maybe we can, maybe we can continue to kill them. It's going to be kind of difficult, I feel. Is there someone next to me being killed? I, I just hear sounds of death right next to me, and I'm like, uh, yes, maybe I should be a bit careful of that. That would be nice. All right, so otherwise, we're doing a lot of damage. I mean, obviously, 10 power draw, that's a, a real big, you know, power boost, you know, damage boost. And wow, that's a lot of, that is a lot of mounted units. Okay, I'm going to move my archers up. And move our infantry. I don't think we have many infantry. No, we don't. Okay, so reinforcements have arrived. That's not good. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I know why. It's because they barely have any units to speak of. 
the enemy, that is. Okay, I'm trying to kill the warg if I can, but obviously it's kind of a bit difficult sometimes. Especially considering I'm being assaulted from every single direction. That's not good. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, archers. Uh, I'd like to get on a warg right now and run away on it, but uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, come on now. Maybe I can at least do a little bit. Ow. I'm really pleased that I have so much HP. That is a thing that is, like, super good for me right now, but, uh, obviously, hopefully, uh, it's gonna be enough to see us to the end of this battle. Bear in mind, there are still, how many? 43? Yeah, 43 enemies on the battlefield, which is kind of impressive. Let's see if I can do a little bit of extra damage there to their archers. I'm out of arrows. Can you believe it? Can you actually believe it? I cannot. Orc darts. Am I literally going to be throwing orc darts now? Ugh. Apparently. Apparently that's what I'm going to do. Let's do it. Okay, come on. T take that. Yeah, there we go. I killed someone with my two throwing weapon proficiency and then I got murdered by the orc chieftain behind me. Even though there were other people not looking out for my back. Isn't that great? I thought elves were supposed to look after each other. Come on, Rivendell. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I'm just kidding, obviously. But anyway, there you go. That's it. That is indeed a victory. Kind of unfortunate that I was killed at the very end. But that is just the way things go. For me, at least. Ah, uh, well, never mind. Okay. Oh, new enemies have arrived. But that was it. Just one. Well, that was amusing. Okay. They tried their best. And uh, we lost... Eight. Uh, it's actually not even that bad. And there you go. Very nice indeed. Look at that. 32 rank points. We gain a little bit of relation with him as well. And, wow, huge amounts of good quality metal scraps. So I'm going to be taking as many of those as I can get my hands on. And, wow, there's even more. That's crazy. All right. So we're right here. And I'd like to see where Elrond is. He's not in Rivendell camp, so I would assume he's probably patrolling around here somewhere, so I guess we can try and find him. Uh, is that him? No, that's Elro here. Ah, there he is, there he is. Okay, come on, Elrond, I need to give you this guy before he escapes. I don't even know whether he will escape, to be honest. It might just be the case that he won't escape because he's for the quest, maybe. I've captured an enemy commander for you. 80 rank points, yes. That is fantastic. Okay, can you help me? You need to be familiar, and you're just a friend. Ah. Oh, okay, well, that's... Oh, look at this. I am prepared to take more arduous tasks to serve you better and end this war. What would you have me do? What is this? All right, I trusted you to deal with this matter as you see fit, but know that our foe is dangerous and bloodshed will be unavoidable. Is your company strong enough for battle? I'm afraid not, my lord. Your party must be at least... 30 strong to begin this quest. I actually do have 30 strong, I think. But just about. Don't really want to chance it just in case it ends up being an extremely difficult task. But maybe we'll do it in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.